many people rejecting the Bible because of the evolution theory. Oh, because the Bible teaches that God created the heavens and earth. God created life. So now we believe in the theory of evolution because it's scientific, right? It's proven by science that evolution exists. So we should believe in the theory of evolution and we should reject the Bible. But is that true? Is evolution and creationism always contradict each other? Or is it actually a false dichotomy? To answer this question is actually a very complicated things to do because yeah you need to to go into very very deep into the Bible and into science and different methods of interpretation and everything. You can debate a very very long way. But now I want to say something that most people don't know. I I'm pretty sure you probably don't know about this. Do you know who is the pioneer of the theory of evolution? I think for this one most people will know. His name is Charles Darwin. Yes, you are right. Charles Darwin. And what is the most popular book that Charles Darwin wrote at the time regarding the theory of evolution? Of course. And most people is able to mention the name also, which is on the origin of species. Now, do you know what is the content of the on the origin of species? Most people don't know, and actually in that book Darwin is revealing that he is he believed in the creator. He believed in the creation. You don't believe me, right? Now let's do this together. Let's go to Google, and you go you type on the origin of species. Or if not, I I usually like to use Gutenberg project because this is the project that that archive all the classic materials. So I usually check the Gutenberg dot o r g g u t e n b e r g Gutenberg. If you know this, the name of the printing, the first printing machine. Okay, Gutenberg dot o r g, and then you type on the origin of species. Now. You, if if you found found it, actually you can also find in other place. Doesn't matter because the same book. You go to the sixth edition one because this is the last, the latest edition considered the definitive edition. It's it's the description by the Gutenberg Project. Now you click on the if if you go with me in the Gutenberg Project, you click on the two zero zero nine that that thing to to access the sixth edition. And now you you will find. Okay, have you do have you done that? If if you have done that, you will find the book. Now, it's it's on HTML file. I I prefer to use the HTML because I'm too lazy to download and waste my memory. But yeah, if you want to download it, it's it's up to you. Now you see on the first page, it's on the on top. You you will see the writings on the origin of. Species by means of natural selection, blah, 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 by Charles Darwin. Then you will see an historical sketch of the progress of opinion on the blah, blah, blah. Then you scroll down and you will find contents. And then in the contents, you go to the last chapter, which is chapter 15. Chapter 15, XV. Recapitulation and conclusion. Now you click on that chapter and we are going to read on that chapter. And then you scroll on that chapter to the last part of the chapter. To the very last part of that chapter. Okay, that chapter only. And then you will find in the last sentence of that chapter. I will read for you the last sentence in that chapter. There is grandeur in this view of life with its several powers. Having been originally breathed by the creator into a few forms or into one so okay i i i zoom into to that particular term having been originally breathed by the creator so what does it imply it implied that darwin himself 
the founder of the theory of evolution on the most famous book on the evolution which is on the origin of species on the origin of species Darwin himself wrote that he believed in the creator he believed that there are some forms of life that is that are originally breathed by the creator so yeah at least I want you to know this because this is a very very not well known facts Darwin can be wrong can be right of course you can always debate that but you, you just keep this in mind that actually for Darwin he is a creationist and he is an evolutionist at the same time so if you at least there is still possibility that you can believe in the evolution and also in the Bible and 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 in the creation okay so it's not that obvious that evolution is Dar- Darwin is I don't think Darwin is trying to attack the Bible as well because he he still believe in the theory of creation at least so yeah this is a lot of this stuff are actually false dichotomy put by the media to us so that yeah especially for us Christians so that we 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 have doubt in our faith it's it's actually not true it's just a false dichotomy yeah okay so yeah thank you for watching this video see you in the next video and if you have any question about this topic you can just comment below and don't forget to subscribe to get updates from me see you in the next video bye bye